This is going to be a brief impromptu test of the Ionator by Active Ion. Just got this thing today. I uh, had it sitting here plugged in for a while charging. And as you can see, when it's charging, it throws off a little bit of a reddish glow in the water tank. And what I've also done while it's been charging is I've thrown a little bit of wine on my table, a little bit of Cabernet. Not the best Cabernet, mind you. But I'm trying to simulate a uh, the type of rings that I normally get from setting wine glasses down when you have a couple of drips of Cabernet. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove these glasses and we'll just wipe it down. We'll see if we've got the, the type of ring that we're looking for. And here's the wine right here. This is doghouse. It's not exactly top flight stuff, but hopefully it's adequate for our purposes of our test. And we'll take a paper towel. Initially we'll just wipe these down. Let's see what we've got left if we have a stain or not. And we've got a couple of pretty good stains, it looks like. And again, the wine, uh, about equal quantities on both sides. And we've got about an equal stain on, on both sides. Now, what I'm going to do, go back to the other side of the kitchen, and we'll unplug the ionator. And I've got, got it filled up mostly with just plain old tap water, which is what they recommend. Now, we'll start with the right side. I think what I'm going to do is we'll just take a, take a paper towel, and we'll just throw a little bit of old... Uh, tap water on there okay, and go ahead and rub it down and let's see what that does for the stain on the right. So here's your stain on the right, good old plain tap water, We're putting some elbow grease into it and not much is really happening. Still have a pretty pretty significant stain as you can see and I'm rubbing pretty hard. Uh, not really much has changed so let's get rid of that. Now we're going to go ahead and throw, throw some of the ionized water on from the ionator and one thing you're going to notice that when I spray it, the uh, reservoir turns green for whatever that's worth. I guess it looks kind of cool. It doesn't really accomplish a whole heck of a lot. We'll give it a couple of blasts, set it down, and let's rub that down, see if it does anything or not. Rubbing this down, putting some good elbow grease into it. And at least on this particular stain, um, doesn't really look a whole heck of a lot different. I'm going to put a little more of the ionized water and a little more regular tap water on it. Let's see if that makes a difference or not. And certainly this is not a definitive test. It may be that it doesn't work that well on wine stains on my countertop, and it may work on other types of stains just fine. But let's see what happens. Rubbing it hard, not a whole lot of change. Again, I'm going to go back to tap water. Not a lot of change there either. So maybe a great device. I'm going to test it out a little bit further, but so far on these wine stains, um, really don't think made a whole lot of difference. And I'm going to run off and get some soft scrub because I know that's going to clean it.